UFC 287, Israel Adesanya and Alex Pereira will fight for a second time in the UFC, but the fourth time overall. Tonight won't just be the 185 pound title on the line, but Izzy's legacy. Let's get going. Here we go, Israel Adesanya, Alex Pereira, two slash four. And before we get going, let me just get the elephant out of the room. I have no face cam and I'm recording this after the fact because OBS didn't want to record my voice. Thank you. Anyways, enough about that. Let's get into the fight. Yes, as I mentioned at the end of last year, these two gentlemen fought for the first time in the UFC. And of course, Izzy was doing pretty well in the fight, a few minutes away from securing another title defense until Alex knocked him into eternity. And that's not the first time it happened to Izzy. If you remember, they fought twice in uh, kickboxing years ago. Alex shooting early, that's weird. They fought twice kickboxing years ago. Alex won the first one via a close split decision. Second one, knocked him out ice cold. Stiff as a board, as uh, our boys would say. So this is a big fight. Like I said, it's not just for the title, but this is Izzy's legacy, right? Everyone has that has that one guy, the boogeyman, as they want to call him. And he's trying to say that it was, it was a fluke and it won't happen again. Now, one thing I want to get out of the way super early here is people are saying oh Izzy's gonna win he's gonna out wrestle him let's not get a, let's not get twisted here okay obviously Izzy is probably a better mixed martial artist in terms of his grappling and stuff like that but he's not a wrestler right he didn't grow up in Dagestan he's 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 not becoming a an a, a, aka wrestler with Daniel Cormier like you can't just learn wrestling in one camp and yes he'll have success grappling we we did see some of that in the first fight but that's not his game right he's he's more the type of guy who's gonna stick and move Think about the Yoel Romero fight. Thank you, phone, for going off. If you remember that, he was hitting him and he was running away. And, you know, it's not the most entertaining for the fans. It's, it's, it is kind of boring sometimes. I get that. But at the end of the day, it's your life, it's your legacy, and it's your livelihood. And you got to do what you got to do to survive. Now, these guys are swinging pretty good. Uh, let's see what can happen. A lot, a lot of spinny shit, as Nate Diaz would say. Another takedown shot from Alex, something you don't expect to see, but he has been training with Glover. Nice uppercut from Alex there, too. So you're ne you never really know. See what Izzy can do. One thing he's got to make sure he does. Oh, there we go. It's exactly that. Move, right? Oh, my God. A spinning head kick from Alex. Okay, chill. Chill, Alex. You can't just stand in front of him like a stationary target. Sean Strickland will tell you that'll put your ass to sleep. You got to be coming at different angles. You got to be coming in with your shots. You got to be leaving with your shots. Shots on the exit are the biggest thing, right? You, you gotta you gotta get every little bit. You gotta make them have every little doubt if the shot's coming from every little angle. Good knees in the clinch from Alex. Nice little body dig too. Nice one two. Missed on the uppercut. It's funny because like you you rarely rarely see guys lead with an uppercut in real life, right? Nobody. It's it's like frowned upon. But in this game, that's the only thing they know how to do. <laughs> the computers is lead uppercut. Oh damn! Izzy's got him rocked. Okay. And again, remember that first fight, right? At the end of that first, or was it the first round, Izzy had Alex on his heels. And if there was an extra 15, 20 seconds, this fight would have been over the other way. And we wouldn't even have in this uh, fourth fight between these two guys. So, you know, Alex got the knockout, but it wasn't a complete domination. So overhand, right? On his Jake Paul shit? Okay. Another right hand. Ooh, nice. Up oh my God, Izzy. Okay, doing work. I like how he's patient though, right? Alex panic shooting. Didn't think you'd see that. You can't you can't go after this guy because he will put you on your ass. Yeah, I don't know. See, Izzy just spinning and Alex is grabbing him. This is kind of the opposite of what I thought we would see here. A lot more stamina gone for Alex and Izzy. Again, Izzy had a great first round last fight, and he's replicating that here. Those leg checks are huge, though. When he was checking that leg kick in the first couple rounds, Alex was, was really putting some doubt into Izzy's mind. Definitely destroying his game plan, so we'll see what happens. Minute left here in the first. Staring at each other. I don't even know what the hell that was. I can't explain that one. Nice lead uppercut again from Izzy. Okay. One, two. Okay, nice combo from Alex, though. He's fighting back. Nice body kick. Tried another one. Nice leg kick, too. A little sneaky uppercut in there. Okay. Just swing it. Oh, he's got him rocked now. Alex has got Izzy rocked. Again, though, patience. Patience is key for both these guys. You don't want to jump into anything. 
So what happened when Stipe tried to jump into Francis? He got put to sleep and hasn't fought since. Oh, that was weird. Does that count as a knockdown? He kind of... I guess it does. Okay. Alex might have just stole the round here. Damn. He's like a spinning back fist as Izzy was turning. Hit him in the back of the head and dropped him. That's a very weird shot. But nonetheless, that's round one. Alex might have just taken it with that knockdown. Round two. Here we go. Another swing and a miss from Izzy. Interesting strategy. Overhand right from Alex lands as he's panicking backing up. That's exactly what he should be doing. Alex not jumping in smart Tries Anthony Pettis did not work Oh a nice overhand the overhands are coming man. He better watch out and that left hook is so dangerous too Alex is so good at switching stances and piling that left hook in there His hands are down pretty low. That's an interesting strategy a little, little T kick. Good combos from both these guys. Alex grabbing on. No knees up the middle. Smart from Izzy. He's trying his own knees up the middle there. No luck on the spinny kick. Oh, nice little elbow on the exit. That's what I'm saying. You need to land those shots on the exit because a lot of guys don't expect them, right? Okay, grappling exchange. We both landed shots. We're going to exit and then fight. But you get the little sneaky elbow over the top. Tony Ferguson made that famous for how many years was he in his prime, right? Sneaky elbow on the exit can do a lot of damage. It can really mess with your opponent mentally. A weird knee up the middle did not work. Again, how weird is it see, to see Izzy not in, in the champion shorts? You know, gold and black befitting a champion, as John Anik would say. It's been a weird couple years. Oh, he's got him rocked again. Will he jump in this time? No, not really. But he had Usman, of course. I mean, not seeing Max the last couple years as champion has been has been weird. And of course, Izzy now. Izzy kind of got rocked there. He just got that was weird. Nice one, two up the middle from Alex. Tried the hook again. Not not so much luck. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice leg kick from Izzy. Didn't check that one. Alex keeps trying to grab it. I think he's trying to grab it. Oh, spinning back fist again. That's like the third time that's landed. Okay. Let's see if Alex has anything for Izzy. Another hook. There we go. The left hook. I told you. He's going to put him on his ass. Sean Strickland style. One, two again. Izzy's defense has really stopped. He just stopped defending the second round. Alex is clearly ahead. Second half of the second round. Let's see what happens. Knee up the middle, no good. And okay, that was a weird clinch entry, but it worked for Izzy. A couple knees, and then a nice look at that—a hook up, or a left hook out of the out of the exchange there on the exit. Now that was a Jake Paul shot if I ever seen one. Spinning kick to the head. Okay, yeah, this is a great fight. Usually in these fights, they're kind of like meh. It is just two computers fighting each other, but having these two guys with their fight IQ programmed the way they are, it makes it really, really interesting. Oh my god, and there's the left hook, put him on his ass. Can he get him out of here quick? He's going really slow, he's, Izzy's going to recover. That was a weird strategy. Alex had, had the energy, but see what he can do with the grappling. See if all that tr training with Glover Teixeira has paid off or not. I mean, he's transitioning pretty easily here. And full guard, half guard. You get to the mount. He's got him mounted. Okay, let's see what he can do here. Can he posture up and land some big shots? Or is he going to try some sneaky submission shit? Little shots now. Okay, is he's okay here. Tries to throw him off. No luck. Good defense. Defense from offense for Alex there. Again. Nice little shots. And he's not letting Alex, or he's not letting Izzy up here. Okay, this is definitely improved. No way he's going to go for an armbar right now. Holy shit, no way. Okay, you know what? I would not see this coming, but uh, see what he can do. Oh my god, he's going to get this. He's going to submit Izzy with an armbar. I, oh my god. He's, this is actually happening, everyone. Feast your eyes, this is happening. Alex Pereira is defending his title, beating Izzy for a fourth time. He got the decision win, he got a couple of knockouts, and now he's got a submission win. Brazil, stand up. This is your man. Wow, what a great fight. Holy crap. Incredible performance by Alex. So in the world of UFC 4, 
Alex Perez submits Israel Adesanya in the second round with an arm bar. Do I think it's going to happen? Absolutely not. Could it happen? Crazier shit has happened, so it wouldn't surprise me if it did. I think Izzy's going to sneak out a decision. I don't think it's going to be an entertaining fight. I think it's going to stick and move, do just enough to get the decision. He's going to get caught at some point, and he's going to recover, and that's going to be pretty impressive. But I think it's going to be a Yoel Romero-type fight. Anyways, that's great card for us in Miami. Jorge Masvidal, Gilbert Burns, Izzy, and of course Alex Pereira for the title. Enjoy it, everybody. We'll catch you next time.